Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Marvel Super Heroes early set review. Today we are looking at set number 76145. This is the Eternals Aerial Assault and this actually is going to be available beginning on October the 1st for $9.99 USD or $13.99 Canadian. And I was actually sent this early by LEGO and LAN to do a review for and I think that this is an interesting source set. Um, it comes with a Deviant and two of the Eternals figures. And yeah, I don't know. Let's just jump in and take a look at it. So here is the Deviant included. And if you haven't seen my reviews for all the other Eternal sets, check them out. But all of them actually come with the Deviant build. And they all have the same color scheme, which looks really great. I love the dark blues, the dark reds. The turquoise is really, really cool. The highlights throughout there, as well as the sand green. And, of course, the gold. Now, what's interesting is each of them had these beautiful blade pieces here that are this, like, transparent, glittery sort of color. But, honestly, you might be thinking, $10, eh. This build takes a while. I'm not even kidding. It took me a while because the studs there, there's studs with holes in it, and they're on these two pieces, and it just takes so long to build. It is such an intricate model, these beautiful wings. I think they are very underappreciated, so really, really great. And you can actually angle them a little bit if you wanted to here on the back, up and down, if you want to have them all the way up or all the way down or to the sides like that. And, of course, they can all bend like that, and you can have them angled like a staircase, I guess, and the one on the end actually can angle out like that. Now the rest of the actual little mech here is really cool. The head can move up and down like so, as well as I think these are meant to be ears. This bottom part here, I'm trying to see, I think you can actually move it a little bit, but I don't believe you're meant to do that since I think that's the nose. This is actually a print here on the top, but the rest here, that is a sticker, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, that's a sticker, and that is a sticker. But yeah, it's really cool, and if you can't see where the ball joints are, I'll show you. You've got ball joints there on the arm, as well as here on the hand. The little claws can move a little bit there, and for the legs, they can move at the hips there, as well as at the bottom for the feet. And on the back, you do have these little spikes on the sides there that can actually go up and down, as well as you can kind of angle this if you want to. I think that's meant to be like a tail. But yeah, honestly, for $10, this is the build. It is a beautiful looking build, and it is very intricate, very detailed. I, I think it's really great. And here is Sprite. And I think she is a really great looking figure. I love the turquoise. I think that is phenomenal. As well as the uses here of the sand green mixed with the silver. I love the design there on the torso. The face I think works really well looking at the eyebrow color from the reference pictures that we have so far. And even the hair piece. I think that it works. Honestly, maybe it could have been in medium nougat. But I think that this is perfectly fine. Using the Hermione head there underneath for the young girl I think works really well and spinning it around here on the back she does have a scared expression which I'm not sure if this character would be scared since she is hundreds and thousands of years old I don't remember but uh, you know I think that definitely could have been like a fighting expression but I get that they're not going to create a new face for everyone but on the back here she has a very detailed back printing which is almost like a cape or something here is Icarus Man, he does not look at all like he does in the trailers, in the concept art, in anything. I don't know what went wrong here. The hair color's wrong. The face should have stubble. Han Solo's young face just does not work here at all. But the rest of him is very detailed. I love the torso. The leg printing and the feet printing look amazing. And of course, he does actually appear in three out of the four Eternal sets. So he is the most common figure on the back very very detailed and if you've never seen this face before he's got a angry fighting expression there i think he definitely could have benefited from a new face he deserves it should have had laser eyes or something it just does not look like him at all and despite the fact that the instructions say nowhere that these are even included they are just extra pieces in the bag these are accessories for them to fight with and we've seen another set or some of the pictures online that icarus actually has the dagger so i'm assuming that they are his and the katana piece is meant for sprite well, there you have it everyone that is my review of the eternals aerial assault and i think that it's pretty cool i think that's actually the one that he laser eye blasts in one of the recent trailers so i think it's neat that we are getting that from the trailer i guess and presumably obviously from the movie but i am excited for the movie and i think that this is a solid set 
It's a beautiful little display piece and it goes well to build up your deviant army. And again, love the color schemes. This is such a detailed set and getting Sprite here exclusive to the set is fantastic as well. But anyways, everyone, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this set. And if you want to as well, check out my reviews of all of the other Eternal sets. And of course, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Marvel superheroes news and reviews. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.